Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, rarely do I read a speech, but I'm going to read this one because I want to make sure to cover all of the important points. My name is Rick Echevarria. I am standing here today because I am fed up. We are all here today because we are fed up. Yes. I stand here before you today as a child of Bushwick, someone who was born and raised on these streets of Bushwick, someone who has lived through the abandonment, the arsons, the crack epidemic, the police abuse, and the years and years of housing injustice. I also stand here today before you as an HPD whistleblower. I am here to announce to you that you are being lied to. Our biggest problem with housing is not affordability. I repeat, it is not affordability. Our biggest housing problem is a three-headed monster. Housing corruption, housing negligence, and housing incompetence. Yes. They are using that three-headed monster to drive us out of our neighborhoods in the name of greed and obscene profit. Corruption. When affordable housing is built, the apartments are given to people with political power, like the assemblyman from this district, 54, Eric Delon or to people with connections to commissioners at our housing agency, HPD, or to people who work for the nonprofits that build the affordable housing. Incompetence. They love incompetent administration because they don't want housing laws to be enforced. They hire managers and administrators who commit to fail. They keep them in place, mayoral administration after mayoral administration, and they defend them at all costs. Neglect. They allow slumlords to run buildings down to the ground just to make us give up and want to leave. And in turn, they give those slumlords tax exemptions on real estate taxes. We are fed up. We are here to demand an end to the long, long era of housing corruption that has plagued, plagued New York City for decades now. We are here to cut off the head of that three-headed monster. No more housing corruption, no more housing neglect, and no more housing incompetence. Bushwick, we must stand up. There is only one solution. Rise up and stand up against the entire system of housing injustice. We must house people, everybody. We have a moral obligation to house everyone. Housing is a human right. Everyone must have a home. The elderly, the frail, the disabled, the homeless, the poor, and the working class who every day make this city run but can't afford to live in their own neighborhoods anymore because housing is not built for them. That has to stop. We are here to stop it. We want housing for everyone. Decent, affordable, free of corruption. And in line with the needs of our climate, our environment, and our way of life. Now, I want to talk about politics. 
programs and policies. It doesn't matter if you create new housing programs or new housing policies because you keep sending new programs and new policies to the same old corrupt and incompetent managers to control and manage. That's what we are living through right now. It doesn't matter if it's the establishment or the progressives. In every election race throughout this city right now, that's what they want to do. They want you to choose between just two sides of the same coin, the binary bullshit. The progressives or the establishment. These are useless choices and phantom alternatives designed so that they can stay in power because they work together anyway. One side takes the money from real estate during the election, the other takes the money later. What we want to do is clean house. We want to rid our city agencies of corrupt and incompetent housing managers. We are going to end housing corruption. We are going to unite tenants. We are going to unite homeowners. We are going to unite senior citizens. We are going to unite longtime residents and new residents. We are going to remake our district into the model for equitable development, safety, and freedom from one. We are going to remake our district into the model for community values, individuals, families, public services, and private bus businesses working together for a clean, healthy, and gratifying future. We are going to remake our district into the model for Brooklyn. Where we go, Brooklyn will follow. Our district, rich in diversity and forward-looking in spirit, will become a model for all of New York City. New Yorkers everywhere will follow. How are we going to do this? This is how. We are going to break up HPD. We are going to replace it with the Agency for Social Housing with one single mission. Teach tenants and buildings across this city how to own and manage their own buildings. We are going to get rid of corrupt, affordable housing developers. We will replace them with ethical, black and Latino-led affordable housing developers. Emphasis on ethical. We are going to permanently protect small, grip, small immigrant businesses by passing the Small Business Job Survival Act so that they get guaranteed leases. We are going to protect black and Latino home homeowners from all financial scams that are targeted at them. And we are going to rebuild our city's economy and our neighborhood's economy by investing big, big, big time in black and Latino business enterprises first. That's the plan. Follow me on social media, join my campaign, and let's start the process together of ending housing corruption and rebuilding communities now.